Okay, this is a quick summary of the pirate ship project that um, I've been assisting with. Uh, the problem was that the original mechanical construction, although it was quite attractive, um, wasn't very realistic in the way that it moved the pirate ship backwards and forwards. The pirate ship is actually moved by a motor, which is underneath. And it's supposed to have increasing oscillations, left, right, left, right, left, right, and then up to cruising and so on. At the moment it's not quite complete, but this is just showing the design environment. So we have a notebook PC which has been used for development, and the heart of the control system is this rather messy little arrangement here. There's a little PIC IC as peripheral interface controller, and it's a little uh, let's show my finger there. Regulator there providing the power, and it's controlling the motor via some power transistors, which you indicate down here. An H bridge, so it drives the motor backwards and forwards. There's another little regulator here to drive the display, which is up here, which is going to say pirate. The heart of the system is a small potentiometer here it is like a little volume control just there point my finger and when the boat swings it moves the control left right left right clockwise and clockwise it sends a signal back to the processor and then the processor compares where the boat is with where it should be the peripheral interface controller has been programmed from the PC via a little programming circuit here, a little module that was bought commercially, about $65. So you just download the program, stick the IC into the board, and see how it goes. Let's see then what it does. Oh, there's a last little thing, is a loudspeaker, it's connected to the peripheral interface controller, because the loudspeaker is actually able to um, or the controller is able to drive a loudspeaker to make a little horn noise at the beginning. Let's have a look. Right, off we go. It starts oscillating backwards and forwards. Meanwhile, the display does its various things. All, all this is controlled by just one IC. It's now building up its oscillations until it gets up to the cruising amplitude. A lot of time has been spent in trying to control the boat motion and the various different techniques used. Now what's happening is the motor is being driven reasonably smoothly with lots of little kicks until a preset end point where it has to get up to position which is determined by the program. When it gets there, there's a little pause to allow a smooth change of direction and the motor is put into the opposite direction. At the other end, there's another half second pause, and then away we go. And this means that you get a nice smooth transition from forward to backwards. The display is just made up of little star displays, they're called starburst uh, displays, and it's preset with the letters and the letters are operated in pairs this reduces the amount of wires that have to go back to the peripheral interface controller later on uh, the start, stop and emergency stop buttons will be implemented but at the moment um, they're not yet wired in one thing at a time eh? so at the moment the only way to switch off is just turn off the power supply and it just goes to a halt. This is a pirate ship model and it's meant to simulate the ride at downtown east. And we've got quite a few features here. The assembly was made by mechanical engineering students and that's the welding of the structure, the boat, the motor underneath, and so on. 
and they needed some electronics help so they came to Triple E department and we have actually done the display and the controller and the lighting that's around so let's see the thing in operation my charming assistant will press the green button okay so the siren goes off it needs to be a bit smoother <laughs> at the moment it's still a bit uh, need the mechanical side needs a bit of adjusting the electronics are wonderful so what's happening is it's building up the increase until it gets the maximum revs. It takes about 16 swings to get out to full speed, just like the real boat. What's happening is the processor that's controlling this is waiting until it gets to the end. It's still slipping, so the mechanics definitely need tightening up um, before it changes direction. Also, the motor is made to change its speed according to how far it has still to go. So if it's a long way to go it's high speed, if it's getting close to the target it's low speed. Right, now if you just press the stop button now it should go and decrease its amplitude and it takes about eight swings now to come to a rest and it should rest in the center just like that and now if you just start the boat again we'll just demonstrate an additional feature which is not existing on the full size one and that's the emergency stop feature so we'll just let the swings build up a little bit the display is updated um, all the time. The way the motor is driven is in a series of little pushes just like dribbling a football so it's just a small kick 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 and in between each kick other housekeeping is done like for example updating the display and so on. So it is a bit case of multitasking. Right now if you hit the motor to stop Just like that. And everyone gets thrown off the boat. Let's take a look at the control box now. And uh, it's opened up. The board was originally made uh, full size to fit into the bottom of the box, but the switches were found to be so deep that the board, in fact, had to be cut in two and folded in half. What we see is the PIC, this Peripheral Interface Controller, which is uh, the whole microcomputer with the program and everything inside. And it needs very few external components, just a few capacitors, resistors, and this 4 MHz crystal. And then we have a set of four transistors, which is forming an H bridge to drive the motor forwards and backwards according to the control logic which is these two wires just coming to the bottom here and uh, there's a regulator for the controller and on the other side there's another regulator, a separate regulator which is for the display because funnily enough the, the pirate display takes a lot more current than the motor and the controller combined which is quite interesting and originally trying to power both from the same regulator caused too much interference something to think about in the design the whole box is self-contained it's labelled up sockets there and in fact you can just simply disconnect the connectors and the box can be taken away there's also another connection just underneath just for test purposes and that enables the controller to speak to a PC which could be just nearby and so you can see what the status is inside 
So this is an application of a peripheral interface controller. It makes design very easy and very simple to update. 